And then he told the mother, you're lucky that you have such a clever girl that she knew how to come to my house in such a storm and call me to come to help you out. She basically saved your life. She said, the woman said, I don't understand. I don't have a girl. My daughter died a month ago. She started to cry. And, she, and he said, here, you can see her clothes in that row. He opened up that row and the doctor was shocked. The clothes that the girl that came to his house was wearing was right here in the door. She was dead already for a month. Her spirit came to the doctor and spoke to him to come and save the mother. Professor James Hislop, in 1911, described Rosa Stone from Portland. She started to say that her deceased son is visiting her house. In 1907, he was a uh, officer in the army in, in, in the, uh, 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 and uh, and a police and then he committed suicide after he had a fight with his friends and the spirit started to come and tell her I did not commit suicide they murdered me I did not kill myself they murdered me and they checked the story and they found out that it's correct I want to move on show some spiritual pictures but before I show the spiritual picture which is shocking you have to get ready for it I have to explain what does it mean spiritual picture <laughs> maybe have a drink what does it mean spiritual picture no. when God created us he made our eyes work in certain frequency Based on the frequency of the eye, we get permission to see what God wanted us to see. But there are many spiritual things around us that we cannot see. When we open the Zohar, the source of Kabbalah, we see that the Zohar says that if the eye of a person will have permission one second to see all the demons, all the angels, all the souls that are flying in a space around us all the time, we would become mentally ill immediately. God, with His mercy, didn't want us to see all the spiritual things around us, and He made our eyes able to see only what He wanted us to see for our test in life. But obviously, He didn't want us to see the angels. But we have some stories in the Torah that Bilam, the prophet of the Goim, was, was riding his donkey and the donkey started to get nervous and running from one side to the other and then the donkey, the Torah says that the donkey saw the angel, the angel is pushing the donkey away animals, their eyes work in different frequency sometimes if you have a dog or a cat in a house and the house is very quiet out of nowhere, they jump, they get very nervous and they start to cry or to bark and they go from one side to the room to the other and they, and they stand in a corner and you're wondering, what happened? It's so silent here. The, the reason is because they saw a demon that you could not see. If you would see what they see, believe me, you jump from the window. <laughs> but since you cannot see, because God didn't want you to see, that's why you don't see. But that doesn't mean it does not exist. However, with today's technology, pay attention, we're almost done. With today's technology, when you take pictures, the lens works in different frequency. And what the lens can see, the eye, your eyes cannot see. So that means if you want to take a picture of your father, you only see your father in front of you. But there are other images in the air. So when the camera will take a picture, sometimes you'll be surprised when you develop the pictures, there are other faces in a picture. There are some legitimate pictures that were checked by laboratories that they're all real. It's not Photoshop or anything like that. And people who took pictures, let's see what the camera detected. A picture, 1992 in Auschwitz. Somebody went to Auschwitz, you know, it's a museum today. There's a line of bathrooms over there. And 
when they took a picture of the bathroom, when they developed the picture, if you can see right here, there's an image of a, of a boy or a girl. You see a face? This is the eyes, this is the nose, this is the mouth, right here. The camera was able to see it, but when he took the picture, obviously there was nothing there. <laughs> Let's see some of the pictures. A captain, a captain that died, when his friends took pictures a few days after, he did not want to miss the event. So when they developed the picture, right between those two individuals, here and there, pay attention. Do you see another face behind his head? Right there? It's right there. He came to the picture, and when they developed the picture, they saw the friend that just died a few days ago. He, when he went by mistake into the propeller of an airplane that was started, it hit his head and killed him. Few days later, when they took a picture, he did not miss the picture. Let's see some of the other things. November 1995, in the United States, a building went on fire. Tony Orhill, the photographer that came to take pictures of the fire, when he developed the picture, he saw a little image looking, staring. They recognized her as a spirit of a girl that in 1977, 18 years before the fire, she already made some of the buildings in the area go on fire and she died. And she's right here. You see, he took pictures of the fire inside the fire. You can see. This, the, the girl that the neighbor from the area was recognized as a girl that used to live in that neighborhood. This is a picture, regular family picture. Somebody took a picture of a father with two of his children. And you see inside the picture, there is somebody here. You see? You see the face here as of another boy? That's, that's larger, right there. Nobody knows who this boy is. Then, as a, fa as a picture of a family from the 19th century. There's a granddaughter, six years old, that died two months before the picture was taken. Two months. Once the family took the picture, you can see right there by the side of the house, by the siding, there's a little, there's a little image. This is larger right here, you see? You see right here? There's actually two. There's one here and one here. See right here? There's a face of this girl that belongs to this family that died two months before the picture took place. Here is another picture. Tracy that was born on June 13, 1975, Friday the 13th. And this is a picture that was taken in 1979. And as you can see the picture, there are spiritual images above her, as you can see that were not there when they took the picture. There is another picture right here, and there is another woman. You see in the background? They took a picture of this girl on, on May, 5, May 5th, 2001, with digital camera. And when they took, there was only the mother that took a picture of a girl. But inside the picture, they saw a face of another woman. <laughs> I'll call, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah. This woman was sure she's alone in her house. When someone took her picture, there's a man standing in the background. You see right here? You cannot see really the face, but there's somebody else inside the house. Here is another picture, and there is a little girl stand, sitting right there on the table. You see? that she wasn't there at the time of the picture. This picture, the next picture, was taken place in a huge forest in 